hey what is up guys this is Asam back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Kiwi garden in Kiwi apps okay this is going to be a series tutorial because I want to show you how to use Kiwi gardens flower in Kiwi apps I'm going to use all the flowers okay uh, one by one by a video okay and in this video I'm going to show you how to use map view in Kiwi so this is uh, this is going to be a very cool tutorial and uh, you guys will be able to know how to use maps in Kiwi so uh, first of all you have to install garden okay Kiwi garden so for installing Kiwi garden just simply go to your terminal and type pip install Kiwi garden okay okay I already installed it so requirements are already satisfied now what you have to do you have to go to the map view rep repository of uh, github and then uh, this is the map view flower of kiwi garden so just simply clone this repository or download it i already downloaded it, it and then go to your uh, open up your powershell okay then go uh, where the repos repository is available okay mine is okay uh, if I want to see what uh, what are the elements available in this directory we can see this is uh, what we get and now I'm going to install it okay so for installing it just simply pip install it okay I'm going to install uh, I'm installing the uh, master branch of map view uh, so I'll just simply do what I am doing okay uh, the map view uh, the master bunch of map view is just installed now I am going to do the coding part okay let me clear the terminal okay I I have created three files uh, two files one is python file and one is a kb file okay and the other one is a marker what I'm uh, what is actually I'm going to use in my app okay now in my python file first of all I am going to import our base class okay so from so from kv okay I am going to use kvmd okay so for a beautiful widget so from kvmd dot app import md app okay after that I am going to import the builder module okay so from kv kv dot lang import builder after that I'm going to import the float layout okay so from kv dot sorry guys my bad so from kv dot ui x dot float layout import import float layout okay after that I'm going to import the map view okay so I'm going to import the map view from Kiwi Garden dot map view. Okay, so from Kiwi Garden dot map view, I'm going to import the map view class. Okay, now I'm going to create a class. Uh, let's say map view example okay this class is going to inherit from our float layout class now I'm going to initialize the class okay uh, I'm going to initialize the constructor let's do it in it okay then I'm going to pass the self argument and keyword arguments okay now I'm going to 
add the super method to initialize the, our self attribute okay now i am going to create our main class okay the class is going to inherit from our mdf class okay then i am going to create a function okay uh, this function is going to build all kinds of widgets and functions that i am going to add in my app and and this is a built in function of kb okay build self okay now i am going to load our layout.kb file okay what i'm going to load uh, i'm going to load uh, this file layout.kb okay let me zoom in a little bit so the text should be more clear and visible okay now i'm going to load the layout.kb file okay layout.kb okay now i'm going to return my map view example class okay okay now i'm going to run my class by this run method okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to split this kb file okay and in this kb file i'm going to load this map view example class okay okay now here i'm going to use the map view attribute okay uh, or map view class uh, before using the class i must import it okay so for importing an object or module in kb language is is a bit different from python so this is the structure for importing any modules in kb language so first you have to say the class name and then the location where is available where is the module no, where the module is available okay okay now in this map view widget i'm going to set um, let's say a latitude and a longitude okay now let me set the latitude the latitude will be okay currently my device has no gps so i'm going to use a custom latitude and longitude okay uh, the place where i live is bhairav from dhaka now uh, I'm going to add the latitude and the longitude of Bhairav, okay? So, the latitude is 24.0555 and the longitude is, let's say, 90.9802, okay? Now, I'm going to set the zoom level at 10. okay uh, let's see my program is working or not okay we can see the map that we are looking for is available uh, i live in bangladesh so the map here is available in bengali so guys don't get panic about it okay if i zoom in okay we can see the map here this is dhaka okay now i'm going to add couple of more functions so let's add a function uh, let's add a marker in my map okay so for adding a marker i am going to set uh, i am going to set an id of my map view class okay the class uh, okay the id i am going to set is okay the id that i am going to set is map okay now in my map view 
example class here I'm going to access the ID okay so for accessing the ID self dot map equal self dot sorry is my bad self dot IDs dot map okay now I want to add a marker so for that I must import the map marker here okay we can see uh, other options are also available so I'm going to use map marker for adding a marker now I'm going to set a marker okay self dot map dot add widget okay here I'm going to add a widget the widget will be map marker and then I'm going to set the latitude where the marker is going to set okay the latitude is this and then I'm going to set the longitude okay the longitude is this okay after that I'm going to set a custom marker okay I'm going to use this marker instead of the default one okay uh, I don't know you guys can see it or not okay this is the marker that I'm going to use now in the source argument I'm going to set my image name okay marker dot png now let me run my program okay we can see the marker is available right here okay if I zoom in a little bit we can see this is the exact location of my latitude and longitude okay now I'm going to close this window okay now let me add a button here okay this button is going to be return home uh, this button is going to handle the return home function where whenever the button is going to press the uh, uh, it will go it is going to redirect to the home okay now I'm going to set the text okay the text is going to be let's say return home and then I'm going to set the position Hint and the position is going to be at the top of my window okay after that I'm going to set, create a function here okay this function is going to be return home and let me pass the self argument so that I could use I can use the map so that I can use the map variable here so self dot map dot now I'm going to uh, redirect to the home okay the home is uh, the latitude and longitude that I set earlier okay now for that I'm going to use the center on method okay and then I'm going to set the latitude and longitude so the latitude is 24.055 and the longitude is 90.9802 okay now I'm going to bind this function to our button okay so for that I'm going to use on release method okay then the root attribute after that I'm going to access our function okay return home okay if I run this program okay we can see this is the location and if I move around from here okay
okay and if i press the return home button okay we can see we just returned to our home okay okay i think this is enough for using the map view flower of kiwi garden and in my next video i am going to i am going to show you how to use another flower from kiwi garden okay uh, let me close this okay guys keep watching goodbye